Hi guys, welcome to the show. My name is Ewase and on today we're going to talk about the um, Baba Idisha's case and according to what the police is saying, this offense is available since there is no um, proof from seven years ago that he raped the girl and also no complaint was made. The police, okay, this is the funny part. The police defined sexual assault as when a man touches a woman in a place where he's not supposed to without her consent. That is the definition of sexual assault and it's billable. And it's billable because it's not rape. Let's take a look at what the police has to say. There are two cases. One, it was alleged seven years ago to have defiled a girl, which was seven years ago. The girl is now 14 years. As at that time, no complaint was made. Nothing was. But last week, a video went viral where I was arrested having sexual assault. What about indecent assault? When a man touches a woman where he's not supposed to without authority and consent, it now becomes a sexual assault. That's exactly what we are. Sexual assault. To which he admitted that he actually assaulted. So not that really assault in the assault of the criminal mass aspect, that when he slaps somebody, when you just somebody now is still assault. But this one now is a sexual one because so the girl was told where I without her consent. So the case of the department has been added to it. Still under thorough investigation. I will need some scientific ones to be. Sexual assault is a billable offense. For God's sake. It's a billable offense. It's not like rape. No allegation of rape was made against him. The fact that we live in Nigeria, we're here in Nigeria, we know this is where the, the case ends. That as soon as it leaves the station, it is where it ends, trust me. If even the court comes back to section, money has gotten to certain places that... <sighs> this case is, is gonna end here. And you know how it is in Nigeria. Once a topic trends, once something trends, give it three four days a week it dies down everybody moves on everybody moves past it until the next incident then they focus on that one till the next one focus on that. let me tell you the kind of country we live in some days ago um someone posted that he was looking for his brother and they traced him down to the police he was he was behind bars. Why? Because the police searched him and found condom in his pocket. And they arrested him. <laughs> and now, they are defining sexual assault as touching a woman in a place where they're supposed to touch her with her consent. And that's billable. You're free to go. Really? Yeah, they're talking, they're talking about uh, the court is on strike. Probably when they resume, they'll bring up the case. Trust me. Once the lady shall leave that police station, that is the end of this case. This is the type of country we live in where we juice up offense to suit uh, whoever pays the most money. They, they twist the law in order to suit the rich. They begin to bring in some kind of words, definitions that are absurd just to spice it up to please them, to suit them. Now, I also saw a clip from um, Yomi in his interview, he mentioned something that was quite, that got me quite confused. I saw the fact that he was calling a 14 year old a lady. 
there's something else he said that got me like okay are they contradicting their statements the police is saying something else this other person is saying something else please take a look at this and see for yourself police never said the cctv was an evidence of rape he was caught with the lady in question in the living room and at the end of the day when it was shown to him that what are you doing with the lady you were holding the lady you were doing this and then he apologized he said yes i you know he confessed to that in the video where Obadisha was begging his zippers were down his belts were up, open why i'm not making this up look at this i'm not making it up Where is he going? No, 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 no it hasn't been released yet because a lot happened in that clip there is more to it than meets the eyes if not if if like they said he was just touching her arm it's nothing there's nothing serious about it okay then we'll have seen the video of him touching just touching her arms but the video hasn't been shown out it hasn't been shown to us yet because First, the child's face is in there, and secondly, it's not something you're going to be proud of in the future to see yourself involved with. So while we wait for the court to decide if we we'll ever get to that, I just put everything in God's hand at this point. There's nothing we can do about it. Then, while we're talking about the insecurity in Nigeria, the issue of rape and sexual assault. Let's move a bit to our educational um, sector. I saw a video where during a jam registration, they were asking students how much they paid for their jump form, and then they asked their teacher how much they charged for their jump form. Take a look at this. Just academy. But, but this girl Just academy. academy. How much did you pay for jam in your school? Eight thousand. Eight thousand. You hear it? Eight thousand for jam that we are collecting three thousand five hundred. You are the teacher. You brought your candidate. Listen, listen, listen. You brought your candidate. Yes, I'm sir. the registrar of jam. I know. Uh, yes. How much? Wait, wait, wait. How much did your school collect from this candidate for jam? Huh? 4,700. 4,700. How much did you collect for them for jam? 4,700. Collected it. Yes. Wait, you collect. You, I have the facts. Okay. Uh, you say okay. Do you hear me? You I collected 8,000. Yes, sir. No. Uh, so why? Would no. You, what? Do you We're not. What, how much did you collect? 4,700. I say you collect. I'm now telling you that I'm in Portillo. We school. Baptist girls. Okay, come, come, come. Don't stay here. Who is from Baptist girls? Wait, 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 wait. How much did your parents pay for jam? Uh, Eight thousand. Eight thousand. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Talk. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Talk. Let me talk. He quietly telling. You see, he was telling her for. Now this takes me back to the corona when coronavirus was at his peak and students were writing their work and they code their exams and they were charged coronavirus fees like when we complain about the government can we sometimes can we take a break and talk about other things what is this now these kids they're probably from from poor homes from 
homes that are not doing so well who knows how much the parents must have struggled to get up to that amount and then your own school is extorting from you then ask me real quick which way in nigeria in every single place office you step your foot into they want to make money out of you anywhere you step in they want to charge you extra fee for fee for whatever it is you are coming to get now the other time someone said someone said she went to um, take the vaccine and when she goes to the hospital someone told her that if she pays a certain amount of money they will just give her the certificate without taking the vaccine she doesn't really need the vaccine I'm not making up. I'm not making this up. I'm not making this up. So sometimes let's take a break from the poor governance and look at ourselves. That change starts with you and I. Okay. So do yourself a favor and be a good person to other people.